Welcome, listener. You've stumbled upon the unexpected podcast. Whether you're meant to be here or not, you might want to prepare yourself for a world of stories you won't hear anywhere else. They are, after all, quite unexpected. Women pools! One of mankind's most fiendish creations. At one point in history, humans used to wash away their filth and depravity in natural bodies of water, such as rivers and lakes. But then, directly from the very depths of hell emerged the swimming pool. Ever since, mankind has been suffering the consequences. Now, pools are found everywhere. And they are filled not only with disease and countless friends, families, and lovers, but they also are host to the unknown. For who truly knows what lurks at the bottom of a pool? As we're about to find out in our next story, some aquatic questions should never be answered. Now, dry off as we take a deep dive into the world of Pool Sharks! at the Halloween Spooky Swim Spectacular! I know, I can't believe it. Feeling pretty hashtag blessed right now. Yeah, I bet. You swam really well too, Morgan. You should have seen the look on that Lincoln girl's face when she realized that you beat her. Well, thank you. Hey, listen. Jasmine Johnson, reporter for the Aquarian. Miss Daniels. Emily, how does it feel to bring Aquarius High School another victory? I know who you are. You're in my math class. But, yeah, it feels really good, actually. But it's not just me. We swim as a team. All of my fellow eel pouts swam really hard today. Of course. And this was another personal record in the backstroke for you, right? It was, yes. It does feel good to beat my old time. That's really who I compete against at these meets, you know? Myself. And how is it that you keep setting these records? Where does that burst of speed come from? Come on, Daniels. What's your secret? Oh, it's not a secret. It's just hard work. I put in the time. I work hard, eat well, sleep the appropriate amount of sleep every night. Stay away from drugs, alcohol, gluten, killer bees, and call my Nana every Sunday night. I get results. Simple as that. Anyone can do it. Now, if you'll excuse me, the shower is calling my name. Thank you, Emily. This is Jasmine Johnson signing off. Who are you talking to? There's no camera here. Yeah, you said this was for the paper. Just let me have this, okay? Wow. Jasmine sure takes that school paper way too seriously. I'll say. But hey, just between eel pout, what is your secret. I'm in the pool the same amount as you and work just as hard, no offense, but I can't seem to get past a third place finish. Well, you're swimming a different stroke than me. Yours is harder. Okay, but how do you get that burst of speed at the end? It's just magic. You just go. Honestly, you'll never believe me. Try me. Just between us, eel pout? Pout's honor. Okay, well... Ever since I first started swimming, I have hated the backstroke. But that's your best event! I know, but you can't see anything, you know? When I'm swimming on my back in the deep end of the pool, I get this feeling that there's something down there. Something I can't see. Something bad. And this thing wants to hurt me. It wants to pull me under. 
and rip me apart piece by piece as I drown in a literal pool of my own blood and scream in agony as... Okay, okay, I get it. It takes my legs, one arm after the other, and then it splits my chest open. All the viscera and blood in the water. My vocal cords just floating away as my... Okay, enough. So... You pretend there are sharks in the water? The thing is, I'm not pretending. I can feel them there, waiting to grab me. And I panic, mid-stroke, and the adrenaline carries me through to the end. Uh Uh-huh. I knew you wouldn't believe me. You sure you're not on steroids? HGH? Blood transfusions that you imported from Denmark? No, none of that. And you don't like, maybe, I don't know. (gasps) <gasps> Sneak into the pool and put in extra hours on the weekend or something? No. Besides, you know what Coach Harvey says? Never swim alone. Pool sharks. <sighs> yeah, right. Thanks a lot, Em. She's gotta be putting in time on the weekends. Or maybe that blood transfusion. Hmm. I wonder if my cousin still lives in Denmark. <laughs> All right, ladies, wrap it up. We need everyone out front and clothed for a picture with our new trophy. Now remember, just because it's a weekend doesn't mean you're off the hook. Get some rest, drink water, and get ready, because we come back Monday ready to break some more PRs. (laughs) And remember, if you are anywhere near the water this weekend, never swim alone. Ever. Never. Ever. I mean it. Okay? Let's go, you'll pout! Ah, perfect. Sunday afternoon. And I've got the whole place to myself. I'm surprised Emily isn't here. Pool sharks. <sighs> right. Alright. Goggles? Check. Swim cap? Check. Small and untraceable amount of human growth hormone in my system. Me? Check. Let's do this. Oh, holy smokes, the water feels so much colder than it did on Friday. They must turn off the heat on the weekends. No wonder there's no one here. Okay, just a couple of laps to warm up. Ugh, okay, nope, one is enough. Just watch, when there's no one here, I'm totally going to beat my PR. Ready, set, go. And time! Ugh, not even close! I'm never going to get first. Maybe Emily was telling the truth. Pool sharks, it's just so dumb. Whatever, there's no one else here. I guess it can't hurt me to try. Backstroke isn't my best event, but... Let's see, my personal record is... Okay, great. So I just need to beat that. Here goes. Oh my god! I thought I saw... Nothing. Jeez, Morgan, it was nothing! Certainly not a shark! Holy smokes! I shaved a full three seconds off my record! Emily was right! It works! I am going to blow everyone away at practice tomorrow. First place, here I come! Okay. Ready, set, go! (laughs) What was that? I swear something touched my foot. Come on, Morgan. Get a hold of yourself. You're going crazy. There's not- Oh, there it is again! And it's so- It's so cold! The 
there is just... All right, that's enough. I'm done. I'll just use the technique tomorrow at... <gasps> Emily, how was your weekend? Not long enough. Uh, I feel that. Hey, Cass, have you heard from Morgan? She was supposed to come over to work on our history project last night, but she wasn't answering her phone. No, I haven't. Now that I think about it, that's really weird. She almost always texts me before bed. In fact, she hasn't not texted me before bed in at least five years. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, cool! Look, they tied the pool red for Halloween! Wow, that's really bright. All right, ladies, let's... Whoa! Red pool. Look, there's a swim cap floating on the other side of the pool. That's Morgan's. How is it holding its shape like that? There's something in it. Girls, stay back. Stay away from the pool. Cassie, here, hand me that skimmer net and hold on to my turkey sandwich. All right, let me just uh, get this up and out of the water and see what we... Oh, oh my god. What is that? Is that a head? Morgan. Is that a head? What happened to her? Stay over there and stay away from the pool. Practice is canceled. This is why I tell you girls never to swim alone. Go, back to the locker room. Go. Oh, man. So oh, scary. I can't believe it's only her head bobbing in the corner. Oh, <sighs> We're going to have to drain the pool again. Coach? What? What could do something like that to her? Pool shark. quit the team the next day. Not that it mattered. The rest of our season was canceled and the swim team dissolved soon after. None of us felt much like swimming in a pool where someone was eviscerated and partially eaten. In fact, I haven't gone swimming at all since. It just doesn't appeal to me anymore. Not when I know what lies at and wait at the deep end of the pool the dark part of the lake. Heck, I don't even take baths anymore. Or showers. I haven't showered in close to 10 years. But it's worth it. The stink is worth it. To be sane. To be safe. And the school pool? Oh, it's still there. Water is cold and still. I've seen it. But no one uses it. It's not safe. It's not sane. And whatever swims there, swims alone. Halloween spooky swim spectacular is sure to make quite the splash now, though poor Morgan will surely be missing out, since she'll be playing an endless game of Marco Polo in search of her own head. Let this be a lesson. Next time you go to a local pool, make sure to bring a flotation device, some goggles, and the sharpest harpoon you can find! Well, that's all for now. 
please do return next month. And remember, no diving in the pool. Or should I say, no dying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I learned how to swim. That could be quite jolly. The Unexpected Storytelling Podcast is written, produced, and performed by talent from the United States and beyond. Get to know them at www.theunexpectedpodcast.com. Pool Sharks. Written and directed by Sarah Palm. Featured actors in this episode are Katie Wickline, Sarah Palm, Jules Schrader, Stephanie Wilder. Did you like the show? Consider leaving a five-star review wherever you stream or download your podcasts. Join us on Twitter at Unexpected Show or on Facebook at The Unexpected Storytelling Podcast.